Hey, hello YouTube. I'm Karan from India, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to make plugins or functions in Batch. So, as we know that plugins or functions are simply helping files that allows you to do extraordinary things in the limited environment of Batch. So basically plugins that I am calling all the files those are basically executable files or some other files while functions are the batch files so functions are like within files so in a file you can create functions as well as the main code but I am separating the functions in files but it is acting as it is a part of the main code so that's why I am calling all the batch files helping batch files as functions and helping exe files as plugin so here in this tutorial I'm going to show I'm going to tell you how to make plugins so as we know that plugins and functions are doing the same thing that they are helping you in removing the limitations of batch and they take some parameters depending on the output you want from them so for example let me show you a plugin mm. Okay, let's go to the desktop and go into the pending folder so here in the completed let's see the menu bar plugin menu bar function as you know that this is the plugin and these are the functions box function get dimension function get input plugin get get land function list function and menu bar function so here the menu bar function is using all these extra plugins so here is the list here is a little test file so as you already know that in the separate video we have talked about menu bar so here for the usage of menu bar function you can see here that we are calling the menu bar function and the main difference between a plugin and a function call is that while calling a function you need to write call command while calling a plugin you don't need that because get input while calling get input because it is a plugin we don't need to write call but call for calling a function we need to write call and as you are looking here that manual function is using these parameters in order to show that output on the CMD console so these are the parameters and getting the parameters is one thing and using those values for our own benefit is the other so here in this tutorial I'm going to create a simple plugin or not plugin simple function and let's see let me write a simple file and save it as a like Sir, printf dot bat as I am naming the plug function as c function printf which allows us to print lines of string and text on the console It's similar to the echo command we are going to accomplish the echo command here so here I'm going to write not going to write CLS because we don't need to clear the screen each time we're calling the printer function so for getting the parameters you need to know that these special arguments from percentage percentage 0 percentage 0 to percentage 9 
there is no need of that tilde but you need to use that that too so they are like percentage 5 here from 0 to 9 you, these are only limited to 10 variables for example if you will write let me click here let me write here 4 slash l percentage percentage a in 0 comma 1 comma 1 comma 9 do echo percentage percentage a not a we are going to write percentage 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 a and let's see go to end of function and let's see how this will give output to on the console so as you know open the cmd and print f hello and you will see a lot of errors so let me complete here let's see percentage 0 percentage 1 As you will try to write ten. Let's see what is the output now. CLS echo of CLS, and now write print f hi. And in the end, as we have written percentage one zero ten, but it has taken only percentage one, and it has print again printed hi with along with a zero. So they are only limited to. 10 parameters you can only use 10 parameters in your plugin and if you will write high it will print high so here it is also writing print f so the percentage 0 contains the name of the file or the function itself so let's try it again and it's printing high so let's try let's try high my name is karan and it's printing like the echo command but what if the parameter go beyond 9 so let's have a look at that too and i am a patch programmer from india and you will see that after the ninth parameter it has skipped all the other information but if you will write the same thing in the echo command it will print everything so is there a way of using all these things yes there is a way and at that is a simpler way so just write here if let's compare it with as a string if percent if the first parameter is not empty not equal to empty we are going to print it so echo Sir, battery is 40 the first parameter and now we are going to shift this is another shift command so we are going to shift the first parameter and so that all the param the first param the first parameter will get deleted and the second parameter will will take the place of first and all the other parameters get shifted by one place so let's try again and it is only printing shift because we forgot to 
make a loop here go to loop and now again <coughs> excuse me the problem with this parameter this function is that it is printing everything but it is breaking them into parts so that's not the problem our main concern was to to not to lose the data and get everything what user has printed or user has written in parameters so we have taken everything and printed on the console so or you can do whatever you want with all these parameters as well so that's how you can make a function you just need to take the parameters and manipulate them according to you as we in this case we have printed that you can use the information and join the join all the strings and let us correct it okay for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to correct it so instead of echoing it i'm going to set a variable string and here i am writing percentage string percentage and let us let me take it one step behind and let us remove all the garbage values by making it empty and in the end what i'm going to do is i'm going to print the string on the console so let's have a look at the difference between the outputs and you will see that the output we want is exactly what we are getting and you have made your first function in batch so that's how simple to make functions in batch if you will try to run this print of by print a file by double clicking on it it will get open and close because it is function and it it is only working by taking parameters and if you are not providing it parameters it will not work functions and plugins need parameters and these extra spaces you can deal with it just simply remove the first two this is a core because of this it is getting spaces so and here <coughs> excuse me i have written dot so it is giving spaces and here you will you will get the exact output what you want what you wanted from the plugin or the function so that's how you can make functions in batch and it's very easy so make sure to make a help menu so that user can easily use the plugin like in our previous cases we have created many plugins and there i'm all so i'm always creating some help menus for example let's take the menu bar function again and if you will write menu bar without any parameter it will give you the help menu of the function so that you can use it again this function helps in adding and gui and here's the syntax by which you can use it so these kind of things makes sure. your plugin you know, makes your plugins or functions better and easily usable trustworthy so don't forget to add them and you can write your name in them so that anyone who want to know that who has created this and try to contact you via the internet so you can together make many innovative projects so that's how you can create plugins or functions in batch that's all for now thanks for watching
feel free to subscribe and bye bye